We're joined now by pharmacist Ed Walker to talk a little bit about Drug Take Back Day. Tell us, what is Drug Take Back Day? Well, it started a couple years ago because it's a huge problem. People didn't know what to do with them. If you throw them in your trash, they get into the water. If you just leave them in the house, there's a chance that they get stolen and back onto the streets. And so this is a safe way to get them out of the house and dispose of correctly, which is to be incinerated. And so they've been doing it now for, this is the fourth one nationally. It's called the DEA Drug Take Back Program. It's in a lot of communities. I know around here there's one in uh, Terre Haute, one in Vincennes, one in Washington. And I'm here to talk about the one in Sullivan, which is tomorrow, the Saturday. It's from 10 to 2 p.m. at the Sullivan City Park. Ours is a drive up. You, the Sullivan City Park has a little circle. You just drive through, you roll down your windows. We have the police, and I think actually the ambulance people are going to be there as well helping. You just hand it out the window. It's anonymous. You don't have to take dump them out of your bottle, don't have to black out your name. You just dump it and you keep on driving. And then you guys take care of all disposal of those. That is correct. We have a company in Indianapolis which you know, actually is taking the DEA, but they take them and get them incinerated. And you, like you said, you don't have to worry about my, the name on the prescription or anything no, like that. No, you don't have to. If it's not even your medicines or if somebody passed away or um, you, know, you, don't, you don't have to worry if it's controlled substance, anything, take back sharps, your over-the-counters, your liquids. You can, you know, as long as it's a medicine, you know, we don't want household paints or anything like that. It's, it's strictly medicines, but you can just bring those and drop them off. And you were talking a little bit earlier about a permanent program you guys have been working to create. Yes, we've worked with the Soil and Water Conservation in, in Sullivan, Judy Bengachia, and the local sheriff, Brian Kennett, and us. And we now have, it's just like a mailbox where you just open up and drop it in. And you can, anytime we're open, you can come drop it off. The sheriff is the only one who has the key to it. So he will come by, take it, and he takes it to the incinerator himself. So again, it's all anonymous. And you can, at that time, if you miss tomorrow or, you know, you, in the next six months something comes up, you can drop it off at any time. And many people don't realize that you really, you're supposed to dispose of these properly. What, what are the repercussions if you don't? Well, years ago they said to flush it. Well, now we know that gets into the water and is bad for the environment. Then they said to grind it up and put it with a coffee ground so that you don't want it back in the streets. That's one of the things, but it was also not good for the environment. So this is really the only good, safe way to get rid of them. Perfect. Well, again, we'll show you all that information. The Sullivan City Park is tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is a free service. You can just drop off any of your prescription drugs or over-the-counter drugs, and they'll be taken care of. You can also go to our website to find out some of the more, de some of the other DEA drug take-back programs that are going around on around the Wabash Valley.